Thank each and every one of you for joining us again today on our Morning Moments with Jesus devotion time here at Life in Focus. As we get ready for the Word of God today, I've just been meditating on Revelations chapter 1 and verse number 8. For the last couple of days, I've been really thinking about what that means to my life and to your life. You know, we go through life sometimes when we don't really stop and think just where God is in all of the plans that we have, all the things that we want to accomplish, how we get so busy and so wrapped up in trying to be the man or the woman that we want to become, that we lose sight of the man or the woman that God wants us to become. And I look at Revelations 1.8 and it says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, saith the Lord God, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. And I look at that and, and, and it really points out that I want to take a focus each and every day on who God is, who He is in my life, who He is in the world in general, that nothing gets by Him and nothing gets to me unless it comes by Him. For I am his child. He, he is able to do what he needs to do in the world right now. And we know based on experience that he, he has always been able to do that. He is the one who is, who was, and based on all of that, anything that's going to happen in the future, he is able to be God. And when we put that in the context of our lives, we understand this. That if we're going to have the kind of life that God wants us to have, the kind of life that really we want to have, God's got to be first. I was talking with a brother a week or so ago, Fred Calloway out of Atlanta, Georgia. And he and his wife have uh, got a ministry and a product line going called God's Alpha Male. And when, sometimes when we look at that word alpha male or that phrase alpha male in the worldly sense, sometimes it doesn't get the, the proper definition that it should. A lot of times people think when they think about alpha male, they think about someone who, who is dictating or takes charge or those kind of things. But that's not the word of God. The word of God says alpha means first. And when I looked at this scripture today and after talking to Fred for a good while the other day, I began to hear his heart that if we really want to be men, the men of God that God wants us to be, and the women of God that he wants us to be, then God's got to be first. And we've got to be the type of people who put God first in everything that we do. I've heard the phrase before, maybe you've heard it too, that nothing comes before my family. Well, that's a good and admirable thing to say. But if you're putting your family before God, that's a dangerous place to put them. And let me tell you why. The Word of God bears out that the Lord is our shield and our buckler. Now, that word buckler is basically a large shield that covered the whole body when they went into war, went into battle. And they would anoint that shield or that buckler with oil. So that any fiery darts or any uh, arrows or anything that came against them would actually slide or ricochet off of that shield because it was so slick, because it was anointed with the oil. And let me tell you what God wants us to see in that spiritually. Jesus is called the Christ, the anointed one. He is also called our shield. And when we put him first and put ourselves and our family behind the Lord, then when we go into battle, we are secure. That everything that comes against us has to come by Him first. That's why it's so important to see that He is the Alpha. He goes before us. But I'm also glad that nothing can sneak up behind us because He's the Omega, the last, the one that goes behind us. Psalms 23, if you read it, you'll see a shepherd that leads, walks beside, and follows you all the days of your life. That is the kind of Christ we need. So if you want to live a better life, if you want to live the life that God would honor and bless, put Him first. 
Put him first in everything that you do. Put him before uh, that, that business that you have to do today. It's a shame sometimes when we neglect prayer and we neglect Bible and we neglect fellowship with the Lord because we're too busy with a schedule that we've made that doesn't include putting the Lord first. What did he say in, in the gospel? He says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these other things shall be added unto you. So I speak that to you today. I speak over that, uh, that blessing over you and over your family, over your business, over your ministry, over your children, over everything. Put them behind the shield and put the Lord first. Lord's will, we'll see you back here again tomorrow. Till then, you be safe, you be strong, and you be blessed. If you would like to visit Fred's website, it's a spiritual uh, spiritualvisionproducts.com or godsalphamale.com he's got some really good stuff on there we'll see you back here again tomorrow I do pray that you have a great and wonderful and blessed day <music>